Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mod 6. We're, we're, we're back on the server, and there's a few people on, believe it or not. Um, this episode, we're, we're going to take care of some issues. Um, one is, you can see, there's these green particles everywhere. That means, that means there's radiation. Um, apparently what happened is, uh, well, this is my best guess. This guy was full of waste, and then obviously, you know, it started radiating because it was still on, it was generating, and it had nowhere to put the waste, so it just sort of like dumped it in the environment. That That's a problem. That's a problem. I think that happened because um, when I logged off and like overnight or whatever, um, the, the overworld became nighttime and the solar panel stopped working, which meant we had no power, which meant, um, well, actually, yeah, yeah. Th these were backed up, right? But they obviously, they run on solar. But the real issue was the SPS in the overworld was, um, it was obviously not running because that needs a lot of power um, and it just wasn't running. So um, that comes this episode. What are we going to do? Well, I think we need to solve our power problem once and for all. Um, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've had our hands on these ATM stars, and I've been holding off on doing something, but I think I think this might be worth it. I think I'm going to invest one, and we're going to get a creative power source, which means we won't need any solar panels, so we can get rid of them all. We, we won't need any power generation. We don't need any reactors. We don't even need any power storage, because we'll just have it infinite. Um, okay, so th there's a few ways to do this. Um, one way is the creative energy cube. This guy by itself, you can craft it. It just has infinite storage. And in, in fact, it might even void the storage. I, I'm not really sure, but this isn't the final product. If you look here, it tells you what to do with it. To fill the cube, you have to get two times ultimate induction providers, two times filled ultimate energy cubes. So you have to get ultimate energy cubes and fill them up. That's probably a lot of power. Um, and then an ATM star and you do a multi-block thing. I, I'm not going to read through that because we're probably going to do that in a, in a second. Um, the other options are an energy cell from, uh, power. This guy uses some energy cell nitros and an ATM star and then about what? 2 billion RF. So like, this is doable. We could do that, you know, leave it overnight. That would be done. But these ones feel a bit boring. There's also the creative capacitor from, uh, immersive engineering. This is pretty much the same thing. You know, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed to say the least. Uh, so I want to do the energy cube. I believe we have what it takes to make this stuff. Um, in fact, if I search, um, energy, um, cube, what do we have here? We have basic ones. We have the ultimate being able to craft. We can actually order a creative one. So let's do that. We, I believe currently we use this for possibly the ultimate black hole. This guy here. Yeah. Creative energy cube. So we've got to order crafted. So I've ordered one. It'll be on its way. Um, next up, we're going to need two ultimate induction providers, which I, I don't think we have, um, ultimate no they're not here i'm gonna have to add the recipes for these guys and then ultimate energy cubes which we can actually do we, we actually are going to need two of these so we'll craft two and what we should do is actually start filling those up as quickly as we can because i imagine that won't be the easiest thing to do how much do they store they store about i think that's 1.6 billion um rf i believe um so that's fun we'll, we'll wait for those to craft let's have a look at them in their in their action here they come um this one Wait, is the creative, is the creative one already crafted? It is. Here it is. Beautiful. I mean, hey, that, that was pretty easy. Um, let's go back to ultimate. I imagine these are done. Yep, they're done. It's that simple. Oh, they do not stack. All right, we're going to grab both of these. And where do we want to do this? Um, I, I, I don't really know. Should we just do it in our, do it in our backyard right here? I, I reckon right, right here is a good spot. So I believe what we do is place the energy down. And then I think we do something like this. Is that what it said? Let's read it again. Um, you must build a multi-block structure in a horizontal line by placing the creative cube down with the providers on either side. Oh, okay. And then the ultimate cubes at the end. So um, what we actually have to do, let's just rearrange things a little bit here. Um, it's going to be in a, like a horizontal line. So we're going to do creative and then there'll be gaps for the providers that go in the middle there. And then here's the uh, energy cubes. So next on our list is probably, hmm, how do I want to do this? Let's get... Let's get a flux point. We'll get uh, two of these guys because these guys can, uh, I can disable the limit on them, right? And we can just fill these up. Yeah, about 27 mil at a time. That is incredibly quick. I highly suggest uh, doing this if you're going to fill it up. Um, I imagine once this guy's done, is this guy going to fill? I might have to change this to just be like zero and we'll just get some power. Just 
just get the power to fill in there. So, so that's done. That's taken care of. Um, next, we need to do the actual providers. Um, we probably could craft them manually, but that's that seems a bit boring. Let's um, let's go create some recipes. Ooh, we actually it looks like we had the. Oh yeah, because we have the energy cube. That makes sense. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So now we just go through and we um, add recipes for all this stuff. Um, it's possible I shouldn't be making these exact. Um, in fact, I might chuck them back in here and turn them off exact. That stops them from needing, however, like empty ones. Instead of needing empty ones, it should just use any of them. If they have a bit of power in them, they have a bit of power in them. Um, so that should take care of that issue. Here we go. Get this one. There we go. And then we'll just chuck all these recipes in here. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's search for ultimate. We have our providers here. We need two of them. Craft, craft. It does look like we're going to need steel for that. So this might be a little bit slower of a recipe just because of... What are, what are we processing? Oh my god. A lot of osmium and a lot of steel. Yeah, I mean, it, it'll take its time, but I don't think it'll actually be too bad. And what's happening here? Why is our ATM star recipe bugging out? I, you know what? You know why? I think it's because we still need that Philosopher's Fuel, which... Let's have a quick look. Not crafted yet because I believe we still need more carrots. Um, I forgot to keep the farm chunk loaded. So, we, oh yeah, I was going to actually solve that problem. I was going to go and get a crappie bee. Um, you, you know what? One, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. <laughs> I don't want to get too distracted. Um, I think we're just waiting for this though. How long is this going to take? You know what? It's not actually taking that long. Like, look at this thing chopping down. I was going to say, like, I could go do the other thing I wanted to do. Hmm. Or I leave that for another episode. Because I want to go, I want to go get a crappie bee. Um, the crappie bee will allow us to farm, um, well, crops. That's pretty cool. Uh, we'll save that for a different episode. This episode will, will, will solve this issue. Um, we might even enchant our, um, Milnir. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, it, it depends on how, how long this takes to, to craft. You know what? It actually has taken a while. The steel is, uh, very, very slow. So, while that's happening, you know what? We're gonna go and enchant. Now, there's a few things to note. First thing is, what do we have set up here? Currently, we have pearlescent end shelves. And a, an extra end shelf, which we might end up, uh, switching out for a pearlescent. Uh, the pearlescent end shelves give us three Eterna plus 5% Quanta, and plus 7.5% Ar Arcana. And you might not know what that means, and it's okay, because neither do I, but in here it tells us. So Eterna is a measure of strength. It controls the level of the table. Um, so I imagine that's like the highest level you can go up to, so like level 80 and stuff like that for enchants. The middle one, so Quanta, this um, controls the variance in enchanting. Your final level will be modified by this value. So I imagine... Okay, we can hover over this. Raw XP cost, 32 levels. Power ranges from 8 to 152. And the item enchantability is 1. I, I'm going to be honest. I'm not entirely sure what that means. But that's uh, that's interesting. <laughs> um, Arcana is... It makes rare enchantments more common. And increases the number of enchantments. Okay. I mean, I like that. And you can see when we put these in. Currently, we are getting 100% Arcana. So that's beautiful. It's It's perfect. Um, the Quanta is at 90%, so we, we need to add some more things. And Eterna is at 40 out of 50. Now, the reason it's at 40 out of 50 is because these Pearlescent um, end shelves go up to a max of 40 for Eterna. They, they add some Quanta, so we will need a few more of them. Um, in fact, we'll chuck that back in there. Can I craft... What do we need? End rods? Ooh, popped Chorus Fruit. How much Chorus Fruit do we have? Do we have like a Chorus... <laughs> listen, listen. We are fine. In the, in the Chorus department, we are... We are definitely fine. Let me go ahead and um, pop some chorus fruits real quick. <laughs> this should be very easy. Oh, I wonder how long this will take. Oh, oh, it's done. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, where are we? Uh, end rods. Here we go. I'll make a few of them. Uh, we'll chuck in this end shelf. Um, doo -doo -doo. that's one. I probably do want maybe another. I'm not entirely sure. We'll turn that into a pearlescent. So we've got two more. This adds 5% and 5%. Um, we only needed a little bit more, so this might be enough. When I chuck this here, you can see it goes to, um, we'll chuck this in, to 95%. So you can see that, that's still 40, that's 95, and that's 100. Chuck this one down, and it should now be at 100. Yep, 100% on both of these, beautiful, already better. And now, how do we get these extra um, 10? Well, if you look up here, the Draconic End Shelf 
goes to a max of 50. So that is what we need. It's as simple as that. We just need more of these. Um, in particular, we need three more. So I'm going to chuck this down. One, two, three. Oh, that was perfect. What is that middle bit? Is that just the bookshelf? That was perfect. Um, all right. And three more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on. Did I just make a mistake by using that up? That was a dragon head. Um, they are craftable with dragon egg essence and a blank skull. Otherwise, I could use severing on a dragon with apparently a flint and bronze. I don't... This is a very... I'm very confused as to what this... Okay. Hmm. That's... That's not the greatest. That's not the great. Blank skull. What's this? Soul dust. Do we have soul dust? I want to see if there's like an easier way to do this. We do a... Ooh. We don't have soul dust. Soul dust is made from smelting smooth soul stone, which you get from soul stone. Do, do we have that stuff? Soul stone? Um, soul, soul. We, we have a lot of soul stuff. None of them is what we want though. Soul cobble, I imagine turns into soul stone. Let's double check. Yes, soul stone. Okay, okay. So, so that could work. And then how do we go ahead and get that dragon um, egg dust? I imagine, um, where are we? Dragon egg seeds. And then we craft this with dragon scales and insanium essence. Okay. Do we happen to have that insanium? Um, oh, we actually have blocks of it. Um, I would like to craft some. Mm, is that that easy? It, okay. Apparently it is. Okay. So we have insanium. Let's get four of this. We have a, an insane, <laughs> we have an insane amount of blocks of insanium, believe it or not. Um, what was next? Um, I know we've gotten a bit distracted here, but it's for the greater good. Let me get those, um, end seeds. Um, no, what are they called? Egg seeds. That's what we need. Ooh, okay. We have some. Okay. How do we get them? How do we get them? I don't think we ever used any. Um, well, anyway, I, I mean, I, I don't really mind crafting them because they're pretty easy to do. Uh, prosperity seeds and then dragon uh, scales. So prosperity seeds, we got to craft with prosperity shards and wheat seeds. And then dragon scales. We have quite a few of them. So we'll just grab these. I imagine you get them from, uh, you know, killing the, whatchamacallit? The end dragon. All right. Seeds go in the middle. Um, then we place these on every second block. And then we place these on every other block. Like that. And because we have a redstone signal applied, it's going to now craft us those seeds. I mean, now we do <laughs> we do like um in the shows, you know, in the cooking shows. Here's some I prepared earlier, apparently. <laughs> and I guess here's the other one. So there we go. All right. Four dragon egg seeds. Now, we have a choice of what we can do. One is we can try to put them into a... Like a, a farmland. If I search farmland, you can see here. Um, we will need it to be insanium farmland, which honestly, it's not that bad. We can we can most definitely do that. Um, insanium farmland. Here we go. Craft that. In fact, let's craft four because we've got four. Um, then we can go ahead and get botany pots. We have three. I, I mean, I probably want them to be hopper botany pots. How difficult are those to make? Um, honestly, you know what? I just want to, I want to show off a little bit here. <laughs> let's go over here and let's just automate um, the hoppers. Those um, hopper uh, plants. These ones here. We're going to press R to get the recipe. I'm going to click this in. We're going to get rid of that apothecary. Turn it into a pattern. And then right over here, we're going to chuck it in there. And now I'm going to craft four of these. And, ooh, we need redstone roots. Um, you know what? We'll add a recipe for it. Um, oh, here it is. Redstone root. Honestly, pretty easy recipe. It does not need to be exact. But I do need to go over here and uh, dump it in. Um, do, 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 just to keep things clean. I could put it in the crafters up there. They'll still craft with it. Um, but it, it seems a little bit smarter to keep it cleaner. Um, so back to here. Hopper. Hopper hock. Hopper hock? Yeah, hopper hock. Four of those craft. And they should be on their way. How cool is that? Um, the rune of air should be crafted or whatever. And then the... The hopper hawk should just exist. Assuming that it... Assuming that this system still works. Um, oh, we can actually... Oh, yeah, we can open it and have a look. Um, oh, so, so here's the other thing. We actually need to have seeds in here. Um, and I need to add those manually to the recipe. And that is one thing I entirely forgot to do. Um, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll keep adding them to the recipe. It's, it's a little bit easier that way. Let's search seed. Drag this in there. Um... Create that pattern again. 
wheat seeds. We can chuck these back in. Now, sadly, we've already got the ingredients in there, but um, for the sake of just making it a little bit easier on myself, I'll I'll chuck the seeds in manually. You know, don't, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. But, ooh, it's very loud. In fact, you know what? Let's, um, let's have that never happen again. Oh, we're not allowed to? Um, Alter Craft Batania. I imagine that's what it is, right? That makes sense. Um, recent sounds. A Agricarnation? Sure, we'll mute that as well. Why not? Air Cannon, Pneumatocraft. Uh, when did I hear these? Anyway, anyway, I'm sure that's fine. Um, so, <laughs> back to where we were. We should now have enough to turn these into these. There we go. Um, we... Oh, Apparently we need more of the other. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to bother too much working that stuff out. Um, all right. Here's where our previous farm was. I guess, I don't know. I guess I'll place it here for now. I'm going to put the Insanium farmland in there and a dragon egg seed. This guy would take two minutes to, to craft, but I should be able to do a little bit of cheating with some bone meal and just hold right click here. And this actually lowers the time, which means as you can see, oh, does not let me harvest it like this. I, I guess I just need to add a chest underneath. That'll that'll solve the issue, surely. Um, boom, 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 chest, and there we go. That probably got a little bit. Is that already extracting? Or did I just not get anything? I think I didn't get anything. What's the rate? Seventy-five percent. Okay. Um. So so this is one option that we can do. The other option is well, actual farmland. You know what I mean? And you can actually use our uh, watering cans and stuff, and that should work. Two of these, we need eight total. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to get a lot more bone meal out. And I'm going to hopefully get us the stuff we need. I mean, if we run out of bone meal, like we've got plenty of bones. So that, that's not an issue at all. Oh, we, we even got more seeds. There we go. And there we go. That's eight. And I guess we got an extra seed. Beautiful. This guy is going to go in with the... Wait, wait, let me grab da, 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 the soul cobble. The soul cobble needs to be turned all the way into dust. So this is going to be a little bit of a messy situation, but I believe I just keep chucking it back in there, right? We get the soul. What do we get? Oh, we already had soul stone. I, I knew that. I knew that. This, that turns into smooth soul stone. And then we chuck that in and that turns into soul dust. Beautiful. Then we search for our dragon again, dragon head, blank skull. Here it is. It uses a bone block and we get these. Place that in the middle, surrounded with dragon egg essence. And that's our next head. And I just realized we need a second one, don't we? Because this makes us that, but we need another. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. I've I've got plenty of bone meal. And there we go. We have another eight. Beautiful. Um, I can actually craft that in my inventory. Give me a second. That, that, this, that, this, and that. That is the last uh, shelf we need. And then we can get back to our um, multi-block over there. Um, so these ones... Now, I don't know if the corner works. I guess, let's see. So, at the moment, what do we have? We have 40. If I place this here, does that go up to 44? It does. Oh, beautiful. So, if I wanted to, I could do this and that. Um, and then, where do I want to place the last one? I don't think it works there, right? That doesn't go up to 100? No. Um, doesn't make it a little bit more annoying, because now, how do I make it look beautiful? Um, hmm. I'm in a predicament. Um, I mean, I could just place it here. Is that ugly though? It's a little bit ugly, but it's fine. Now we've got 50, 100, and 100. As you can see here, we can actually craft this up to the level 100 enchant. Um, you can see the different stats here. So yeah, this one's the best. Let's do it. Let's click it. There we go. And you can see our experience at the bottom. We still have 927 uh, experience. It, it did like nothing to us. All right. This enchanted it with life leech five, loyalty seven, um, scavenger two, capturing six and knowledge of the ages, um, three. I think I'm going to remove that and try it again. Unless what's knowledge of the ages. Is that good at all? Enemies drops are directly converted into experience. That is useless to us. Let's go ahead and disenchant this guy. Chuck him back in there and let's try this again. Um, this time we got punch, disarming, raiders, bane, capturing. We're not getting any like sharpness in chance. I, I wonder if it's, uh, physically possible. Um, beheading flame. Let's try this again. Um, you know what? Yeah, our experience might even be going up somehow. What do we have? Beheading, hell infusion, reaper, loyalty. Hey, this this one sounds cool at least. Um, honestly, we'll probably just keep that. And then, so I should, it has loyalty, right? I should be able to throw this 
And it should come back really quickly once it decides to. Once it... Yep, here it comes. And it's back. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. I'm, I mean, once again, I, I still, I'm only really going to use it when, when the time calls for it. So I guess, I guess we'll put it away for now. Anyway, anyway, let's, let's continue with what this episode was meant to be about. Let's get these, um, ultimate providers. Here they go. One and two. There it is. And are you ready? This is going to be the first thing we actually craft with an ATM star. I think it's worth it though. I believe if I right click this, uh, energy cube with this star, it will transform. You ready? Three, two, one. It didn't do anything. I'll, I'll do it when I crouch. Three, two, one. Okay. It, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's read what it does again. <laughs> um, oh, what? Oh, no. Here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. All you have to do now is make sure your cubes are filled. After which you can shift right click the creative cube with the star. Let's try this again. Three, two, one. <gasps> there we go. That's it. We now have a creative energy cube infinitely filled. Here it is. Here it is. Now you might be wondering, what, what are we going to do with this? What are we, what are we, what are we going to do with it? Well, I mean, it, it's pretty lame. I'll admit it, but all I believe we have to do is make ourselves a flux plug. Well, we'll take this one, um, place it down, change it to be, um, I mean, we don't even need to do this step, but I'll, I'll do it for the sake of, um, making things good. Just add it to my, um, to my generators network. Disable the limit, because why not? And, um, just place that down. I think. Am I, am I incorrect? Side config. Oh, these are all input. Oh, let's, um, let's just do that real quick. Oh my God. That is 4 billion. 4 billion power being drained out. 4 billion. Now, where is that power going? Wow. For one. It's going in here most likely, filling it up. Uh, it should be. Um, it's, it's going in there as fast as it can, I guess. Um, the other place it's going should be over here, at which it is filling this guy up. Now, are there limiting factors? Um, oh my God, that is 2 billion. Um, I, I don't know. Apparently this guy's only taking 155 million. Per t I guess it's per tick, but so is this, isn't it? Yes, per tick. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, what we can do here as well is we can disable this limit because we have infinite. So they can both, um, yeah. Oh, okay. That, that sped it up a bit. Okay. Well, I mean, we don't even need this though. Like we don't need a battery. I mean, it's cool. I'm going to fill it up. I mean, why not? But we don't, we don't need it. Oh God. Um, even this guy, like this guy's just pathetic but i guess i don't know something happens <laughs> but yeah this this thing has literally wiped out like i don't need these solar panels and so what i'm gonna do is the chunks that don't have um you know this bad boy in. oh did i really build this really awkwardly did i really it's you know what? it's because i thought these are uh, these solar panels would stay chunk loaded forever so, <laughs> so i couldn't help myself um this guy isn't force loaded there, right? Oh, he is. Let's, let's, let's get rid of that. You don't need to be force loaded. Anything that's generating power does not need to exist. <sighs> I mean, Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not mad. I'm just, you know, it's, there it is. That's it. I, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Um, yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, next episode. Hmm. Do I want to do it next episode? If I do it this episode, it'll be ready next. You know what? How long has this recording been? It's only been like 24 minutes. Oh, listen, listen. We're going to get the crappie bee. We are going to get the crappie bee. Um, what we need to do is create delightful dirt. Um, this stuff is do, 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 made with... What's the mod from? It's from mob grinding. I know what the thing's, thing is, but I just don't remember what it's called. It's one of these things. Um, creates a golden egg. I believe that's what we want, right? GM chicken food? Nutritious. Um, hmm. The GM one doesn't seem to have a recipe, so I guess we'll make this one. The nutritious chicken feed. Let's craft this. That'll apparently get us a golden egg, which appears to do the trick if you... Oh, what is it? A golden hook. Okay. Um, do, do, do. Yeah, it says creates a 5x5 five five area of delightful dirt. 
Um, so we're going to bring that with us. We need a chicken. Can I possibly create a chicken? Is that something easily doable? It doesn't... I'm going to be honest. Not really appearing like that's the case. Unless I happen to have some of these uh, sh uh, charm shards. I almost got a guardian of the Gaia one. Um, we'll keep looking through. All right. We don't have any. Um, we can do the capturing enchant. Or, I mean, we just hopefully find one, right? You know what, actually? The, I remember seeing a chicken in this area. I'm looking at the mini-map in the top right and hoping hoping a little chicken... There it is. Um, yes, chicken. All right, you are coming with me. Ah, actually, I can just feed it to you here. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, if we look on the map, here's, here's one I prepared earlier. Over, um, where is it? Oh my god. All the way over here. Oh, 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 oh. Hello? Oh, um, the map is being very laggy for some reason. Is a plains biome. This is one of the few biomes that a crappie bee can spawn in. And so it is the direction I'm going to go. I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a jetpack. And I will meet you guys over there. You would be surprised at just how quickly, um, oh my god, you travel with this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at a claim that is not our own, uh, but it is a plains biome. We can we can go right next to it. Um, so here we are. Now, this will get a bit messy. So on hand, I want to have at least one bee jar, but we'll have a few just in case there's some cool bees that spawn. Um, I would also like silk touch. Does our... Yeah, our mecha tool can do silk touch. Uh, is it currently tuned to? Um, mecha tool... Silk touch unit, it is on. So like, for example, I break this, I get grass block. Beautiful. All right, here we go. Place this down. First of all, does that give me... Oh, yes, it does. Okay. So we actually can farm this uh, bountiful dirt. Oh, already that's crappie bees. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's all I needed. That's all I need. We got we to gotta pick them all up. All right, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Everything's fine. Let me turn my magnet on real quick. All right, we have a crappie bee. Um, what are these ones? A spider bee. Um, over here, we have what? Just a mason bee. We have another crappie bee. I'll, I'll grab a spare one. A spooky bee. And I think that's... I mean, that's pretty much it. Okay, beautiful. We got what we came for. And we even got to keep our dirt. 25. Beautiful. All right. What we got to do next is head over to our bee area and drop him in. But I believe he needs a hay bale. I think it's a hay bale. Let's um let's double check. Crappie bee. Here it is. Um, Crappie bee. Bee flower. Hay bale. It is. Beautiful. And that should do the trick. Um, so, um, I'll go in there and drop it down. Let me make sure I have my wood planks on demand. There we go. Boom, boom. Um, where do I want to place the stuff? Um, uh, bleh, bleh, um, um, I don't want them to get stuck anywhere. I think I'll place it there and then we'll place that guy there and that'll do the trick. Beautiful. Okay. Crappie B should get crops and go back into here. Hopefully there's room for him. I think there is. Yeah, we don't have too many bees in there. And beautiful. That should take care of that issue. Um, in the next episode, since this guy's chunk loaded, we should have like a billion, um, you know, croppy honeycomb thingies. Uh, in terms of antimatter, what are we looking at? Uh, oh, we have a lot of filters. In terms of antimatter, anti, we have three. Oh my God. Hold on. How many stars do we have? We have five. Yeah, literally, um, we, we need this, uh, the grass, oh, the, the carrots, we need the carrots. Um, these guys will hopefully get us a bit overnight, but I'm thinking the real, the real money is going to come from these, uh, the crappie bees that we, that we just set up or the one crappie bee, I guess. Okay. I, I think that's it. N now there are other methods to, you know, grow crops really quickly and, and get them right. Um, I'm probably going to try to avoid them may purely for the fact of, like server lag and, and server related lag. Um, one of the best ways to do things, I believe, is with a um, a create contraption of some sort because it doesn't drop any items. Like when it goes over an item, as we'll see, hopefully in a second, it just picks it up. That That's it. It doesn't drop it on the ground, which I think is better. Let's have a look. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Um, so that, that, that prevents things like, uh, overflowing and stuff. Um, but even then a bunch of the things that like speed up growth, they cause a lot of lag. Um, it, it's really not a fun time for the server. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching that. That'll probably do it for this episode. The infinite power, that'll, 
that'll keep us under control hopefully um next episode hopefully our carrot situation is solved if it's not we might have to we might have to set up something else i'm not entirely sure um but yeah thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys have, have been enjoying this i enjoyed this episode <laughs> this episode was a good one because we got stuff done um thank you to those of you supporting me financially so thank you to Caden, oracle skeletal jacob oathis derpy snow luna mugs and v rifty all supporting me through uh donation links in the past present and and maybe the future um and thank you to the coolest v rifty and mugs who are channel members here on the youtubes or, or have been in the past time um, so thank you guys thank you and um for you at home hopefully hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully i will see you guys in the next one where we did what i said would do earlier i guess all right goodbye So I didn't want like a, a music company um, copyright striking my videos in like the future. So uh, yeah, this is <laughs> this this is the best I could do. I'm I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> uh, mate, you know what? In hindsight, silence might have been better. Well, you live and you learn. <laughs>